Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's start the freezing furnace, finally. And this is a biggie foot, which you likely seen at the very beginning of the last part. And yeah, he's not any different than the bog foot, he's just there flopping around. I'm gonna try to attack you when you are in his range. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Don't fall in the frigid water as well, because that'll cause you damage like Freeze Easy Peak from the original Banjo-Kazooie. And that was a nice one by Kazooie, by the way, there. <laughs> I was just doing my explanation and clicking through things and I pointed out a little late, but whatever. So, yeah, he's talking about this right here. I'm sure you know. Oops. I'm sure you know how to use eggs by now. There we go. Oh, great. I'm playing like a pro. And there we go. Come on. Come on, I need to get up there, eventually. I like to do this really annoying minigame first. It's in this igloo. It's right there. Well, I, uh, yeah, I'll do it first. <laughs> it's just, this one's kind of tricky to get the hang of. It's another fishing minigame, sure, but you gotta look for the shadow, the correct kind of shadow, which will be the fish. The fish move like they go fast, they move, then they go slow, fast, slow, fast, slow, while crabs move at a steady, slow pace. So you want to aim for the odd moving shadows rather than the slower ones, the slower, steady ones. Yeah, but otherwise you should know how to fish by now, but oh, this one is... Ugh, it doesn't give you very much time to do this. Yeah, 40 seconds for 12 fish, all poopers. That's likely... Ugh, yeah, it's a crab. But I thought... I was gonna get a fish in with that, but oh well. And I'll oh, poopers. I'm not paying very good attention to the shadows, am I? Duh. Must get only fish. Not much time left. I'm probably gonna fail this actually. Mm, yeah. You can tell that the the steady moving shadows are, as I said, the crabs. Mm, like this one will be a fish. I'm not gonna have enough time to do this, am I? Well, I might! Yeah! I'm pleased. I'm glad I took care of that first, because now I can sort of breeze through the rest of this level, so to speak. <laughs> because this level, it's a pretty complex level, and there's a good chance that it's going to give you some ire and probably a couple of game overs, if I know this level well enough. But don't worry, as I said, game overs are pretty much useless for the most part. Uh, this ice structure here, you can actually go on top of it. Yeah, you can't really tell with the perspective, but you can. It's also slippery, so look out for that. And whoops, that little tornado that's... It's kind of like a yum, a yum yum, except it sucks you in, and it's kind of annoying to get around. Uh, I'm gonna just transform here at Mumble's Pad to a candle right away, because I believe that's what I need to get inside that thingy there. And we will transform on this game of Simon with the power of Disco! Woo! And yeah, I believe this is how you get in there, is that you can light up. Or at least this is what I think it is. Yep! And now I will be able to... Do I dare go inside here with these water cannons? Ow. Well, I did. I dared, and I took two hits. <laughs> uh, I don't really think there's anything of importance that I can do as a candle other than that at the moment, so I just thought I would take care of that, I guess. <laughs> don't like the tornado. I don't even know how that tornado is forming. It doesn't appear to be any kind of weather pattern. <laughs> and back to bear and bird. Gone faster, Mumbo! This is a walkthrough I don't have all day. Yay! I wonder if I should be focusing more on getting the moves first than um, actually getting things by section, because the moves are scattered around this place quite haphazardly, and you need moves in all sorts of areas. Or I should say new moves in all sorts of areas. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of thinking about just going for the moves straight out, but I'll see what I can do area by area. PERSPECTIVE! Ah! <laughs> Guess I can do it like... No, I can't do it like that. Ah! I guess I'm 
going the long route then. <laughs> Dang you, Biggie Foot. You take so many hits to kill. And I believe that's a mini game. Uh, oh, shoot. I grabbed the question mark one. Um. That's decent. <laughs> I was a little worried that I wouldn't hit something good. Oh, and I need fire eggs for this. This is how you destroy those ice blocks. Yep. Drill! Chinjo! And there's signs pointing you out pointing out that there is death water there. And look out for that that note behind the uh, tornado there. Because that's something that's quite easy to miss. Uh, I think I got everything around in this section. I'm not going to bother going up here just yet because that's an entirely different section I kind of want to or organize. Let's go inside here. And... yep! It's those. But this time it's a little different. It's You have to collect those little snowflake thingy things. They're snowies. Yeah, we gotta get more of those critters than they do. It's it's kind of similar to the other uh, jet skiing one, except this time you're on a snowmobile. It's the, the control is exactly the same, and they're gonna explain it again anyway, in case you didn't find the other one, I suppose. And can you shoot in this one? Yeah, you can. It's, it's R and L. R for the right side, L for the left side, obviously. And let's go! Must get as many of these critters as I possibly can. I actually got off to a bad start trying to aim for ones that were falling down and... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm the yellow one, in case you couldn't tell there. You, you start out at a different place each time, I think, actually. Anyway, I'm doing all right, I guess. I still have plenty of time to get in the lead, hopefully. <laughs> oh, there we go. Keep collecting. And I'm not even bothering with the snowballs, because it just doesn't really... It's not in my best interest <laughs> to focus on so many things at once, when I could just be focusing on winning by collecting the snowies. Yeah, not too hard, but it could be troublesome if they get in your way. Yay! And another one bites the dust. Oh, come on! How'd you hit me when I was up there? <laughs> uh, did I get everything? Like, is anything back there? Okay, I just wanted to, to check that just for sure. And I'm probably gonna end up game overing soon because of my incompetence. <laughs> you notice that there's a little snowmobile heel, heel here as well. I guess that's a reference to what's coming up in that minigame, even, even though you, that you would have no idea that it's there. Oh, shoot! Um, I believe, yeah, you can go from there to here. There's actually a uh, run and jump segment that's kind of tricky coming up here. I'm thinking about it. Gra great. Well, that was a question mark one anyway, and it's kind of... Yeah, it's not too good to use those at this point in the game. The, the higher the level is, the faster the question mark and the exclamation ones scroll. Anyway, hit that switch. I probably should have hit it in front. You gotta get all the way over to that island. Hold the L button and press the R button. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Go, 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 go. Yeah! Come on, you can do it. Banjo! Oh, shoot! Aha! Aha! And I think I cleared out the uh, upper area already. Aside from the... Uh, inevitable future transformation that I'll be doing later, so let's start working on the bottom spot, I suppose. Why? Why do you take so many hits? And... Let's see, what the... Oh, this is um, where I was just above here. This is where that... Uh, yeah, the section I ran across to get the jiggy. That was, I was on a time... Oh, shoot! That was terrible planning on my part. Wait a second. Isn't there a platforming segment over there? Yes, there is. I wonder if I should be an octopus for this. <laughs> that'll protect me from ye old frigid waters. Even though I think that would kill an octopus. IRL. Uh, was there anything over here? I don't think there was. Though you can go on top of these pipes. Just a nice little detail they put on there. I don't remember if there's anything 
specifically impor important on those pipes, but I don't think there was. Wait a second. Where is... Oh yeah, that's the hollow honeycomb piece I need to be an octopus for. Uh, but I'm not going to do that until later. I'd like to do all that... I'd like to do all the transformations together, if at all possible. Aside from that candle up above, but that was a different thing, I guess. <laughs> um, that's also, those, those holes down there are also an octopus type area. I'm just going to shortcut, oh shoot, I missed the land. I knew it was down there, but I missed it. And perspective is killing me. <laughs> there we go. Now this leads back over to, uh, this is where that honeycomb piece was over there, but that's where I was gonna traverse earlier. I'm just gonna leave you. You take way too many hits. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's just go across here. Mm, I can reach there, right? Yeah. Perspective. It's evil in this game. So evil. Uh, this side section of this mountainous area, uh, this, I'm not gonna go in there just yet, but it's, ooh. It reminds me of a terrible place in Banjo-Tooie, and you know exactly what place I'm thinking of once you see the name of the place that I'm going to be going inside shortly. I just want to take care of these platforming segments first. And this leads you back over to this right here. Oh, I can do the exclamation one because I have good timing thanks to my rhythm game knowledge. Well, not knowledge. No, it's practice. Um, let's see, I just want to get everything. Yeah, I hear you whistling over there. I know you're there, but I just want to do one thing at a time, Jinjo. I hope you can, I hope you can understand. <laughs> oh, shoot. Dang, you sting lash! Uh, there's another beehive if I dare. It's gonna go in the water, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, it's a question mark one anyway, so meh. I'm going to have to do a couple little jumps over here, and this leads to another m new move, I think, actually. Whoop. It's on this next upcoming land. Oh, no, it's not. Maybe I'm thinking of another level. Yeah, I must be thinking of the uh, uh, Briegel Beach level, because there's one off to the side like that in that level. Ah! Why? <laughs> okay, let's go inside. Uh, that red looming door of death over here. Yeah, this thing right here. Get ready, because it is Grunty Industries. Yes, but it's not nearly as bad as the one in Banjo Tui. That that place made the water temple in Ocarina of Time look like a child's playground. <laughs> that that it was just so ridiculously complex for no reason whatsoever other than just to be annoying. Um, over here, I don't know if I can do what's in here right now without something. Yeah, I don't think I can do what's... No, wait, I can, can't I? Um, that's a... Yeah, that's a pad that I can use to destroy the boom boxes. And this is where you can get the uh, Jinjo... Yeah, it's pretty well hidden here, the uh, Jinjo Jiggy there. Just keep your... Invincibility going up there, and I got a hollow honeycomb right there. Watch for the notes behind the boxes, just so just so you don't miss anything. And over here is a pad that'll get you up there. Yeah, spring, shock spring pad. And this will this will lead you all the way around. Oh, shoot, I forgot you were there. Red champa, lava champa. I don't know what's the point of that other than notes, but yeah, it's there. And, do, yeah, those boomboxes do respawn. That's kind of sucky. Anyway, what do you have to say, Jinjo Oracle? Mm, mm, Okie dokie. Yeah, I don't have that just yet. Thank you. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, with this game over, I guess that's a good time to end off this part, because I didn't see anything else that I could collect in this particular area. So, yeah, I'm going to end it off here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.